Audacity is extremely popular for PC, Mac and Linux, so it's easy for you to get started. In this video, I will show you how to completely remove vocals from a song. Not only will I show you how to do it in Audacity, but I'll also explain why it works and how to avoid some common pitfalls that can happen when you're trying to remove vocals to create that karaoke effect. Let's hop into Audacity here, and you have got one single waveform loaded here in the edit view right now. You would do this simply going into File and Open in the menu bar at the top. Now, this is a jingle that I created earlier. Have a listen. And as you'll hear around eight and a half minutes in, the musicradiocreative.com vocals kick in and those are the vocals we want to get rid of. This would work in a similar fashion on any piece of music that you wanted to eradicate vocals to, uh, but I'm just simply showing you on a jingle because it's super simple. And at the end of the video, I'll give you the option to download that jingle if you want to try it for yourself. So let's have a look at what we need to do first. Well, first of all, this is a stereo track left over here, right over here. We need to split it in two by clicking the triangle on the radio jingle name, the file name. Split stereo track, which now gives us two different points where we can edit. So we can edit the left and the right. And then what I'll want to do is quite simply go into the effect menu and go for invert. Now what this will do is we'll flip around, it will invert the polar polarity, <laughs> easy for me to say, of the right hand channel. But it's not finished yet because I've played it you'll still hear vocals. So what do I need to do? I now need to go into the triangle on the right-hand channel and convert it to be mono. And I need to go to the triangle on the left-hand channel and convert it to be mono. Now let's have a listen. Wow, no vocals, amazing. So it does work, but wait, there's more. Let me just undo those, Command Z or Control Z or Z, if you're British, <laughs> get that all back to normal. There we go. Okay, that's back as I started at the start of this tutorial. So, um, you might have noticed the vocals had gone, but the track deteriorated in quality a little bit, didn't it? We lost some of the bass. So let me explain to you why this works. Why on earth does splitting it in two and inverting the right-hand channel do that? Well, usually in music tracks, you'll find that the vocals are in mono, which means they're exactly the same on both sides, whereas the music is in stereo, so you've got different things happening on the left than you have on the right. So it's very easy to take the mono, invert one side, and they cancel each other out. Now, there can be problems because if you've got reverb on a voice, that's usually stereo, so you'll find that still stays in a track. If you've got backing vocals, usually they're stereo as well, so they may stay in your track as well. That's why this effect may not always work. But now let me show you a little ninja tip that you can do in Audacity to try and preserve some of that bass, because we like bass in our music, don't we? So let's go over to the triangle. We'll split that stereo track again. I'm gonna take the left-hand side by selecting here, so it selects all of it, and go to Effect, and then we'll go down for equalization. It gives us a lovely equalization area here that we can play with. So I'm gonna stick a point on it around 200 hertz, which is uh, around bass, and then pull down at around 120, 130 hertz. Uh, that will knock off all the bass from the left-hand channel of my music track. Click OK. If I play it back. Well, first of all, let's make solo the left-hand side. You'll hear the bass disappear, and then solo the right-hand side. The bass is most definitely still there. So why does this work? Well, by making the bass sound different on the left and the right, they can't cancel each other out. So you preserve the bass while still losing the vocal. So let's try and do that now. Let's go to the right-hand channel. Let's invert it, and then let's make them both mono so they cancel each other out like so and play it and hopefully we'll have some bass but no vocals. <laughs> And 
And there you go. That is how you eradicate vocals from a track. Like I say, it doesn't work in all cases, but it works in many cases. And if you would like to download the jingle that I used to demonstrate to you so you can try exactly what I did and figure out how it works, just go to mrc.fm forward slash vocals. That's mrc.fm forward slash vocals where you can download that exact jingle and try it for yourself in Audacity.